In Affinity Photo, you can add adjustment layers by clicking on the Adjustments button on the Layers palette or from the menu under Layer, New Adjustment Layer. And you can see you've got a wide assortment of different adjustment layers that you can add. For this one, I think I'm actually going to add the um, Brightness and Contrast adjustment. Let me get rid of this other one that we have here. Uh, if you click out of the adjustment layer and you want to go back and edit something later, you can double click on it. It will bring up the floating window with the settings. You've got control over opacity, uh, blend mode, and then any sliders uh, that are specific to that adjustment that you're making. Now, the thing to keep in mind about adjustment layers is that uh, out of the gate, they are a mask. So we could select a brush over here on the left, select your color, and then you can remove parts of that mask. So with that in mind, I'm going to delete this, select my image, and add another layer or adjustment layer. I'm going to pick a color. and a blend mode. And I'm going to adjust the opacity down a little bit. We'll go with 50%. That looks pretty good. I think I'm actually going to flood this with, uh, flood the mask with uh, black. There we go. So that's going to re effectively remove the adjustment layer. And then I'm going to paint portions of it back in just to give us a little tighter control over what areas of the image are recolored. Let's make sure my brush is soft edge. Like that one. We'll zoom in a little bit. You can see how that's revealing portions of the recolor adjustment layer without affecting the rest of the image. And let's go ahead and add another color adjustment layer. This one isn't completely finished, but uh, you get the idea for that. I will pick another or add another adjustment layer, recolor. And again, I'm going to flood this layer with black. Oops. And then we're going to paint in portions of that recolor adjustment layer again. And you can see where the brush is. It shows you, uh, it gives you a little preview of what will happen after you have applied that paintbrush stroke.
Now I've already done a completed version of this, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, uh, we've got several different adjustment layers here. This is a little more complicated, but um, the effect is that you get a uh, little better control over various areas of the image depending on the adjustment layer that you use and uh, how you choose to mask or unmask portions of that image. If you have suggestions for other tutorials or uh, have comments, go ahead and leave those below. Thanks.